you know guys today is february 19th 2024 and um so monday uh, i just listened to uh, uh honorable kemos you say a message where you talk about the toll gates and everything and um you know it's very much appreciated for sure because uh that is the whole essence of democracy and um that that's we don't the advocate for for the past six years coming that we need these kinds of um, reporters. You know, we need people for the comeback, especially we get expertise knowledge. Like Honorable Kemosi say, who was a minister of works. We know exactly what he happy with the toll gate and the toll road and all of that stuff. Now he implement them, he's the facilitator. Now he's the man we go to parliament and get the approval. This is what we only ask for for five to six years coming of the APC and the opposition as a whole. And so when I listen to this message today, of course, Honorable Kemosi say should be commended because it's not the first time. We see, um, you know, um, and, and I'm not saying, you know, King Gladys for even talk about the fact that he's not well. But the fact is, it's true. It's a man we know well. We get every excuse for saying, you know what I mean? My body not all right. I know if I'm, not, I'm not happy with the way things are, even though I'm sure he's grateful because I'm all very prayerful. You know, it's a good thank you, and uh, at least in life day. And I believe so that's the kind of person that's how he thinks. So he's very optimistic. But I just know, say, I mean, he's the kind of person where, you know, um, uh, no go see something and not come out and speak up about it. And for the past five years, he's the only person we actually within the APC we really honestly challenge amongst all the ministers and everybody else. We actually come out and speak up and challenge this SLPP. We see what they try for molest them, you know, go lock them up and detain them and this and that. We didn't do because they come out and speak up. So it was, uh, you know, uh, ostracized and coerced and, you know, for shut them up again because of waiting. The opposition as a whole, nobody gets one word. It was the opposition within the opposition. We make the SLPP and the Madabi regime who want to be dictator because these guys, that's what they're working towards. When you look at the playbook, you see they were for copy within Museveni, Duna, Uganda, you know, for just, you know, stifle the opposition and step on them. But that can only happen when the opposition will get one word and they will come together. So, Oribul Kemosi says should be commended for his efforts over the years for where they stand up and speak up at times when it is absolutely necessary. Because he knows that, you know, um, uh, history will not judge him correctly. For let it be somebody that the minister will implement the toll gate. And then he sit down with the watch and tolerate this nonsense where it happens to the legacy that we continue. You know, um, it mentioned something about the um, uh, trapatite because I'm not going to make this message long. And, you know, of course, for a lot of what I want to say, I've been kind of silent. You know, sometimes you have to allow people for reflect and look back and think. So not all thing that he talk. So I, I, I just appreciate the fact that I really honorable came out. He said, we come out and speak up and make I even feel, say, you know, at least I just, because, um, you know, shed light on them so people go understand where I'm coming from because this is everything we've been talking about over the years. You see, it mentioned, you know, the fact that uh, uh, the Trapatite Committee, um, and that did lead me for say something. Also, more of what you say about the trapatite is just me coming to say something again about this whole trapatite committee. Um, I didn't hear people in, oh, Lord, we allow the trapatite, we allow the trapatite. First of all, nobody is not saying enough to allow this trapatite committee for doing the job. The question that some of us have, we be say we that some of the people that will be to point out the foolishness. We lead with the like a today follow reaching to a trapatite. First of all, we all as a Sierra Leonean, we have to be ashamed of ourselves. And most of the opposition that were like a girl, even the people like the Kelfala Maras that are sitting as the chair for the uh, APC, you know, um, uh, 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 in this trapatite committee, these are the people that actually let us follow we reach our reach to the like a today. And this is just a tip of the iceberg. The time get for each other for make this analysis again. I get for the do presentations and lives for show now how these people like the Kalfala Mara sat by. This is a man we don't occupy the position of finance. If we don't do as a bank governor, these are people we sat by for five years. Till we can't get the outside this so economically we're depraved. This man, the only time we come out to speak, and where we reach them for election at the time he came out. This was somebody we even catch box they mentioned about the fact that we talk about the treasury single treasury account. This was the man that implemented that whole thing, 
a sido a watch the SPP then destroy the economy. Uh, people are suffering the like city. Price of rice is going up every day. They don't reach the 800,000. Price of fuel, basic commodities. This man and man will be served inside the economy area, finance area. A sido and able for challenge this SPP government. What do you do? Because we know say name the deeper commissions of inquiry. And make bargain with the SLPP because that is the only way we can for conclude out of this. Then then pull a name that the anti corruption commission report or the commissions of inquiry. Where then pull a name there, that was the only, you know, these are the guys. So he shut up, he sell the people of Sierra Leone, he sell the APC people. But then, guys, they are now in the pan trap. I think he said they go use the trap committee for can't save them face. But we're going to allow this for go on and see what's going to happen. And I want to tell people in this whole thing about the Trapatite Committee. Are the APC folks and they talk about a lot of them walk away. One piece. Now we talk about peace now. You know, then they make like for say, well, when they talk about this peace, people already come up and speak up about this whole thing, you know, one piece. You know, people like myself, for five, six years now, the whole reason why we were on social media now for prevent any upheaval on nation day, for prevent any catastrophe, anything will lead to loss of lives and everything. That was why I was on social media advocating, speaking up. Because I like peace past anybody. There is no better person in Sierra Leone, apart from myself, from go to catch box and other good folks on social media. We like peace, rich we. You know, we don't like peace, rich we. Everything we did was to promote peace, was for make sure that we get a peaceful nation. Because when we talk about the rights of the people being violated, when they come now, we speak up. We call. Satan Lamin was raped. Thirty day we we'll not get we we'll not get uh, you know uh, 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 we we'll not get justice for Satan Lamin within the APC party. People are forgetting about all these things. These people like the Kelpana Maras, all of these guys that are actually you know behind the APC. Nobody you know able to take up the case of Satan Lamin to this day. Plus then call and get money. They say go Uganda. They waiting. Now we this will be the billows for Satan Lamin. Nakaila Hun for leg of settle. Now we do one for Satan Lamin. You know, these are the things what we would say to all of these guys. Take the Satan Lamin has not gotten justice. Evangelist Sam should not get justice. The people like the Kelfala Maras and all these guys, you know, they sat by all these years. Then they watch the thing that they happen. Then they kind of call it like peace, peace, peace. Like for saying like peace pass we. Everything we did was to promote peace in that nation for ensure say, the people's rights are not violated. Sensitize and educate. Civic education was the key. Everybody should be able to participate in the democracy without any fear of cohesion or any fear of a retribution or any fear of being attacked or killed, which was what was happening in that country all this time. So Malika will be sit on watch, watch for see what's gonna happen. But and all these people they can't have peace. No, and I mean say because you have a peace now, I mean say people will come out and speak up about what has actually happened, which you don't transpire. Oh. Now history don't no respect Nasira Leon. And the fact that we don't respect history in Sierra Leone, I make what they happen, they like they continue for happen. Because people only go back and look at the past and say, you know what, in, this was the past. No, no, allow that the past can repeat itself again. Let's make sure, say, we respect everybody in fundamental rights and respect democracy. No, look back at what they happened with the 1991 brutal rebel war. Let's ensure we don't get back to that. That is what this whole thing is about. So not for Kala, peace, 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 peace. Just because we don't want to cover people and mock them not for speak up because we don't know so when they come and speak up. I mean, that's why everybody get for can talk the two now because a lot of folks when they come talk, they get their sides when they take anyways. And they listen to them all and I know their sides them immediately. So man begin talk, you see the flip flopping where they go on and all of that stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that are genuine. And in you know, all social media, it's two or three. We're genuine on social media. We can't we don't take sides. We just steady or focus on the facts and focus on the truth. It is not a lot of us on social media like that. We don't believe in partisan hackery. We don't believe in foolishness. We don't believe for look for brother and sister or uncle and this and that. You know, when you look at the Mikhailo Masaris and all these people, I know, you know, these are people that we get a relationship with daddy and all that stuff then they, but that is not my focus. That is not my thing. The fact of the matter is just because you get a relationship with me, Papa no means Siago cover you for nonsense but we are watching all of these people where they watch for see what's going to happen the six years so don't come until we reach our reach something like a today for reach to a trap it is a disgrace it is a shame it should not have happened if only people had did their jobs if people like the kelfala maras did their jobs just like how honorable can what they say they do their job them stand up not all time when they say come talk but when it comes to issues when i show me one video one audio of kelfala mara talking about the economic woes the difficulty where we constantly go like a today what can we do for alleviate the sufferings of our people when i show me one video or one audio of kelfala mara we come and talk about those things but now then they use this trap i think they say this is going to be their their opportunity 
continue to wash and launder their image but come back and sell themselves to the APC party it's not going to happen it is not going to happen people like us are going to put our foot down inside the APC we are going to determine who are going to be the leaders within the APC as a political party and may I challenge APC supporters and APC people in Sierra Leoneans as a whole especially within the APC party so when that time reach I go know if APC people then self self bang if not to other version of the same SLPP but I believe say the APC people they are sober headed and they think and they forget. Because what in these guys then they count on and they count on say well, they forget. Not left them more salon people, then they remember they're angry, then they remember more of them. Where they're angry once they get in for it. So then they remember again what video happened in the past. Well, that is a lie because people like us, we have archives. We're gonna keep this data. You know, like I say again, the only reason we make an I challenge the flag bearership of the APC, one, because of Dr. Samura Kamara at this particular point in time. If if Dr. Samura Kamara not show up, I am going to contest for the flag bearership of the APC party. That's you that is stop me. That's you that is telling me, say, I don't get right for the one. It is my right. I was born in APC, bred. The blood of the APC is right within me. But because of people like Dr. Samura Kamara, I miss the foolishness we do during the campaign trail and all of that stuff. But I know, say, he still get the love and the respect of the people. And I believe, say, it is aware of himself. He's coming together for getting himself right. So we are looking and watching all of that. Now we can for decide who's going to be the leaders of the APC. All of these people have sold on that. They don't sell on that the APC people. Them. They don't get one value for one. They don't get one respect for one. So reach the Trapatite committee. If my name fits in, they go use Trapatite for can launder the image and clean themselves up and can present themselves like they are the saviors of the APC. The people like the Kelfala Maras and all these guys, I have no problems against them. But I'm just being very factual and honest now. These are the people who allow Marabio to go down the roadway, go to the lake today. All team the another country, the country, these people, they suffer not to come on. Hardship, difficulty. These guys, Kalfala Maras, they deny the economy. They work at the economy for years. They sit on the watch Marabio and they destroy the economy. Where people they continue to suffer the lake today. Families not getting for it. This is another effect not just APC, but all Sierra Leoneans as a whole. These are the guys that they lead me down this path of a trapper tight because we think they don't challenge the constitution, they don't challenge this government the way they should have stood up against him for defend democracy with people that they go for register, people like the Kalfala Maras, they have nothing they have ever said against the term where they suffer people enough for register. Then young adults they would turn 18, 19, where they want to go vote, they want to register, when they disenfranchise them. Then they tell them, say, okay, right, yalla, bad certificate. People like Kelfala Maras, they are all in thing they are. They know all of these things that I'm saying. I'm picking on this particular guy because it's very insulting the way the guys is treat me. With these all them foolish PhD, where they go run, go get uh, out and get out, you know, get out and sabi and all that foolishness. You know, but this is the problem that bothers me because, again, they've stood there and they watched the SLPP government destroy the lives of our people in Sierra Leone. So I don't know, not feel like I feel. So if I don't uh, feel steadily, not to matter be one. Matter be one, not just one person. It is the people, the opposition, it is the supporters, the one that the faith fan these flames. The one that the opposition will for stand up. I know what to deal with parliament for how many years, so I'm not even gonna to go to the Cheriko Koyon side. When I don't say he's a dead cargo, he's finished. But the people like the Kelfala Maras that we forget as well, we're not gonna forget them. These were the guys we for stand up, they tell you the economy begin to go bad. As they begin increase the price of rice, this and that, they got like COVID. Kelfala Maras and others should have taken up to the, the space. There is social media, there is TV, there is newspapers. Wanna show me a publication, wanna show me an, an interview, wanna show me anything of people like the Kelfala Maras. I did pull Dr. Richard Conte for a little bit because I see the efforts where himself they make. They're frustrating efforts and I get it. But well, people like Kelfala Mara, where were you, man, for five years? You sit on the only to see you in an election. We can't for can't off your hat into the race. Then you tell you go sit on your couch, you plan, you get your manifesto, book where you write all your foolishness where you say you get planned for. But in five years, you cannot defend and stand by the people of Sierra Leone. And these are the people who give you power. So when people are allowed to allow them to allow them to walk, all oh, one piece, we don't have peace. We don't have peace. What do you want to do? Some of them, what do you want to do for peace? What do you want to do for stand up for peace? What you want to do for stand up and defend the, the people of Sierra Leone? And they spend lives upon live, Facebook lives, YouTube lives, Twitters, all over the place, WhatsApp. I engage every social media platform. Myself, Comrade Kota, Cashbox, all of us. We engage social media just to ensure we reach every facet of society. Every individual who signed in day, we try to reach them. Then they Facebook will outreach them. Then they YouTube will outreach them. Then they WhatsApp will outreach them. Why? Because we're fighting for peace. That is how you fight for peace, not for at peace. The same peace over the other sooner, so as people say, the other peace. They want to say the common like a peace, peace without no action. You want to back up your action with for life be peaceful. 
all what you know they do now just for the franchise the people now when the apc people only get sense they want to stand up and speak up and i began a piece because i want to shut them down because they're speaking up about the fact 